I hate these things. When you're in a car and you're driving, you need a seatbelt. It's very important to ensure safety. Roller coasters aren't very different. In every roller coaster, you need some sort of restraint system. Sometimes it can be really bulky over the shoulders. Sometimes it's just a lap bar. But this, these are called comfort collars. And they're anything but. How do you feel about these, Derek? They hurt. Yeah. This is the Ride Tigress. And these aren't even mandatory. I hate those things. There's only three rides in the world that have the restraint systems that Tigris does. The eight others, it's just a lap bar. They don't have comfort collars. This ride can run without comfort collars. These restraints prevent young thrill seekers from going and riding this ride. To ride Tigris, you have to be 54 inches tall. Meanwhile, the height limit for Iron Gwazi is 48 inches tall. It doesn't make any sense. And the common thing with these three rides that have comfort colors, they're all at SeaWorld parks. It's not an issue with the manufacturer, it's SeaWorld. Any SeaWorld owned park, except for one. There's one ride at SeaWorld Orlando called Icebreaker. And this ride has the same exact trains, the same manufacturer, it's just a different layout from this. And they remove the comfort colors. I speculate if they give Tigris the same treatment, whew, that would be wonderful. It's not just us who hates these things. All right, so I want you to tell me what you think about comfort collars. I think they're pointless. I think they just they, they shouldn't be on the ride. I feel like a seatbelt would be much better. Yeah, I was going to say, comfort collars, more like uncomfort collars. <laughs> um, they are pointless. They don't provide really any extra safety. They hit you in the head, you know. I prefer Skyrocket 2s without comfort collars. So have you ridden Skyrocket 2s without comfort collars? Yes, I've ridden Phobia Fear and um, Superman Ultimate Flight at Six Flights Discovery Kingdom. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and they are much better. And on top of everything I just listed, Tigris has some of the most uncomfortable trains. Look how hard it is for people to get in and out of these things. I mean, I could ramble about Tigris all day, but Derek, do you want to ride it? No. We're riding it anyways. <laughs> The comfort colors, it is. These comfort colors. <laughs> I've got seatbelts so. though. It's weird, so free. Yeah, they did add a seatbelt. It doesn't seem to be a problem. It doesn't seem to interfere as much as the comfort colors did. I'm very excited. I am too.
What I loved so much about that is when I ride a roller coaster, I, I love having room around me. I like to flail my arms all around and go crazy. I like to look like those guys you see at the, the big inflatable tube guys at car dealerships. There's... <laughs> Poor kid. Um, that's what happens when you have comfort collars. It really makes me think about all the other rides and there's those three other rides. There's Tigris at Busch Gardens Tampa, there's Tempesto at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and there's Electric Eel at SeaWorld San Diego. And what all those have in common is that they have those comfort collars. I can't imagine how much of a better ride experience those would be. That, that slow inversion right at the top, it's gotta be so good. We started up a change.org petition so that you can help us in the fight against comfort callers. So if you want, like me, to urge SeaWorld Parks to give their guests a premier experience, check out the link in our description for that petition. Go sign it. And seriously, I don't normally say this, but share it with a friend. Let's make our voices heard so that SeaWorld Parks can give everyone the incredible ride that I just got on Icebreaker. Now let's go explore the park. Can I get a regular cookies and or, um, chocolate chip cookie dough, please? Thank you. Hey, we're gonna go on Infinity Falls real quick. So the kind of cool thing is there's this bridge, right? And there's the drop. And everyone on this bridge gets so soaked. It's kind of insane. They're gonna be on the next raft. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I did not move out of the way fast enough. Oh my gosh! I've never gotten this wet on this. Dude, I got more wet watching you guys. Did you get wet? Yeah, I was at the bridge. <laughs> Oh, that's like one of the best I've ever had. Oh. Yeah, bro. Oh, man, that was amazing. Dude, Pipeline is literally testing right now. They love me.